Hi, my name is Miss Lai and I teach second grade at Crestwood. Today I will be reading you The Incredible Water Show by Deborah Frazier. The Incredible Water Show, written, designed, built, and performed by the Tower Hill Players. Welcome, one and all, to our humble stage where we will show you positively and absolutely that you are surrounded inside and out by the miraculous. Once upon a time, yes, once long, long ago, a great magic occurred. Positive hydrogen H, two tiny atoms, that is H and H, found one negative atom, O oxygen that is, and together they made H2O. And ladies and gentlemen, upon the meeting of these three atoms, there appeared a substance of such wonder, of such power, of such beauty. Yes, there appeared suddenly or slowly, we're not sure how or why or when or where, but there it was raining down for the first time on our planet Earth. Yes, long, long ago, in the great once upon a time, there was water. Now, ladies and gentlemen, watch these three acts of astonishing acrobatics. Yes, shine the lights. Look carefully at this colorless, odorless, glistening nothingness. First, I ask you, how well does water fit inside this glass? Precisely. Second, look up. How well does water fit inside that cloud sailing across the sky? Completely. Third, look inside. How well does water fit within the tiniest cells of your body? Perfectly. Look at our beautiful selves. Here we are, walking on a planet that is nearly three-quarters water, while two-thirds of each of us is sloshing around as water. And what comes raining down on our heads? Water. Makes you think, doesn't it? I mean, what's left out of our world without water? H-O-H, H2O. Now listen to this. Our water is old. It's so old that the water you sip at supper could be the very same water that giant dinosaurs lapped up from the clear lakes of long ago. Since its first miraculous appearance, the same water has been perpetually recycling. Yes, the water that you'll drink today, a family of thirsty apatosaurs could have scooped up with their huge tongues more than a hundred million years ago. How is this possible? Ladies and gentlemen, look all around you. Water is continually circling us, falling from the sky, slipping down leaves, sparkling on fur, sprinkling on skin, seeping into the ground, and then bubbling up fresh and clean in secret springs. Springs flow to rivers, and rivers slide toward the ocean, where the water rises into the sky, gathers together in clouds, and then rains down on everything all over again. I know, it's almost too much to believe, and you might even ask, how could water rise up out of the ocean? a good question, ladies and gentlemen. Watch carefully. Take water, take heat. Heat the water, it disappears. Fantastic! Water turns into tiny invisible droplets and then evaporates into thin air. Astounding! Cool the water and suddenly water reappears, squeezing itself right out of the sky as mist or fog or rain or snow. How can water do that? Condensation, they call it. But we call it magic. Now, all eyes on the center of the ring for the ultimate test of strength and endurance. Introducing the rock. Heavy, solid, a million years in the making. Look up, falling into the ring, the lightweight, the fearless, the nearly invisible, the drop of water. Sound the bell and let the bout begin. Drip, drip, drop says the water. Solid, 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 answers the rock. Ladies and gentlemen, who will you bet on in this battle over time and space? I will tell your disbelieving ears that water, this gleaming trickle, this shining softness, will drip, drip, drop a hole right through this solid rock. But don't take my word for it. Come back in 1,000 years and see for yourself the surprising, the stupendous, the strongest of them all, the drop of water. And ladies and gentlemen, you might ask, 
What's the big deal? You might say, water? Shh, I hear you, don't say it. It's everywhere. Oh no, he heard you. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Shiver me timbers! What did I hear? Water? What's the big deal? Landlubbers, have you no sense? Water is the treasure, the X on the map, the mightiest find of all. I've seen sights of the seven seas that would curdle your blood, but nothing is worse than a ship sailing dry in the wind. Aye, aye, me mates. I've been spying from atop me mast, and I've seen the foolish, the careless, and the greedy, ice-hearted infest the cask of our fresh water with poisons and garbage and worse. And I've seen the water plundered from its underground sources until our springs run nothing but dirt. We'll cut, down, we'll cut our own throats with these miserable habits, and I've given us up for lost until... Until today, until now, until right this minute, Look around you, we're all here. We can do this, me crew. Let's clean up this mess and run a tight ship. We must, for a vessel with no clean water to drink is a ship that is as good as sunk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, water is the most amazing substance on earth. Astonishing. It bubbles above us, below us over and under, inside and out, helping everything that lives, live. Yes, amazing, astonishing, incredible. Water. E -N.